The chorus is growing for Bob Filner to quit as mayor of San Diego. Filner is in the midst of a sex scandal as well. Here is Senator Dianne Feinstein herself, a former mayor. Uh, and I don't think that somebody who is lacking a moral compass uh, really sets a role model or really will provide the kind of leadership that San Diegans want. Feinstein is a Democrat and a Californian, as is Filner. Filner announced Friday he is taking a leave of absence. He's going to enter this rehab program uh, starting a week from today to deal with a problem that has led to widespread claims of sexual harassment. So with us now from New York, Judy Kuriansky, the well-known clinical psychologist and sex therapist. Hi, uh, Dr. Judy, let's begin with... Uh, this, this two weeks, right, that he has to begin starting next week. Um, from what he said on Friday, it's this, uh, you know, behavior counseling clinic, intensive therapy. Obviously, we don't know the specifics of it, but, but what, what kind of therapy might this un entail? Well, he's going to have to hit the ground running, really, Brooke, because this is two weeks, and it's so rare. Normally, there needs to be at least a month of inpatient, and then well after that. So he'll come in, he'll sit down and have what we call an intake. He'll be going over, honestly, every detail of everything he has ever done, every attempt to kiss, every time he said, take off your undies, every headlock. He'll have to go, who, what, where, when, why did I do it? Then he'll have to go through... What are the cues that make him want to do that behavior? What triggers him to want it? And then the next step is going to be how can he stop that behavior? And for that, we use a technique called thought stopping. As soon as the thought and the urge comes into his mind mm. and his thoughts, he's going to have to snap his fingers. He'll do some other action. It's called an interrupt. Mm. And then he'll have to replace it with another thought about I respect women. That's the first thing. And then he's going to need some really intensive therapy because this has to do with power and the desire to intimidate women. He even used that word. And so he's going to have to examine, why do I feel powerless? Hmm. And go back even to some of his childhood. So that's, in short, what's going to happen <laughs> that, with him. That's an abbreviated idea. It's interesting you bring up the word intimidated because uh, I wanted to play this clip with that word uh, specifically okay. that he used from Friday. So here was the mayor. Let me be absolutely clear. The behavior I have engaged in over many years is wrong. My failure to uh, respect women and the intimidating contact, conduct I engage in at times is inexcusable. What does that language, Judy, that what does that, that tell you? Oh, well, it tells me that at least he is admitting it. Mm. I know Wiener did too, but denial is a big part of this. And so in therapy, he's going to have to come clean about all of it and really then prove himself. That's going to take time, Brooke. Just two weeks is not enough. We're going to ha and he even said that too, mm -hmm. by the way. Mm -hmm. Watch me and see if I do well. So mm -hmm. that's going to take him a lot of time to prove his behavior. But I love that he said those things because in therapy, He's going to have to go through what is it that I have lied about all this time? What makes me lie? What makes me hide all these feelings? Getting honest and getting over that denial is really important. So that's a good step. So then just final question, if we talk about this, you know, two weeks intensive therapy and then what? Obviously, this is all part of a process. And, and at what point Huge. does he have at what point does he have to stop pinching himself when he has these thoughts? How long oh, does this take? I love that you said it takes forever. <laughs> yeah. it's, it will never stop. It's wow. like addiction to drugs and alcohol. It's always, always going to be there where he has to use these techniques, follow his cues, change his behavior, change his thinking, and his need to dominate women and get in touch with his deeper issues. That'll come later. The deeper issues about what happened in his childhood and in, in mm. high school and college and all these feelings. So step one, behavior. Step two, attitude. Step three, deeper therapy. Got it. Judy Kariansky, clinical <laughs> psychologist, sex therapist. Always great having you on. Judy, thank, thank you. you.